Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here with a another implant rescue case. Um, you can go ahead and open. Uh, tooth number is number 11. Um, we saw our patient not too long ago. He had a loose anterior bridge that was placed uh, within a year. Um, it it was um, well, it, it fit the teeth pretty well, but the problem was his occlusion. He had more of a flat lingual surface, um, the lingual aspect, and it was ca causing trauma, occlusal trauma, and pushing the, the bridge forward. So we went ahead and, and made these a little more concave, gave him a better uh, protrusive path uh, for his bite. So now that's pretty solid. It's been re-cemented, cleaned up certainly with the microscope, and re-cemented. Today's mission is um, we're going to take care of a Strauman implant uh, crown and abutment. We have a loose uh, basal screw within uh, the abutment itself, so we're going to have to make access. But our protocol will include first stabilizing certainly the loose tooth or loose crown, and then go ahead and gaining access through the lingual aspect. Once we find the uh, the the basal screw. We'll make sure that we have a long access line of access to that for the driver to go and enough room for the driver to go and engage the head of the screw, unscrew everything, put it in the cleaner, and then we'll start our cleanup with the um, with the soft tissue and the implant. Checking, of course, the threads for any damage, and um, and then moving forward from there. Uh, now this has been loose for a while, so we don't know what to expect, but I'm pretty optimistic we're going to have a good outcome today. So our first first thing we have to do is, uh, is go ahead and use an etch material. I'm going to join it from the lingual aspect. So I'm going to etch this surface here and this surface right here. And uh, we'll put a cotton roll up in there first and also a slide ejector. And down for about a minute, I'm going to leave you open because we're going to use a special acid watch to uh, kind of clean off the surface of your, of your uh, porcelain. All right. So we'll do that now. Yeah, a little bit about the procedure. We're um, let me just pull that forward. Thank you. We have a Strauman makes a TL tissue level implant and that's what this this is. I don't have a chance to show you the the x-ray right now but it was definitely confirmed and identified as a Strauman TL. Okay, I'm just getting everything ready. Alright, here we go. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and cavity cleanse off the surface get rid of any uh, debris and I'll just turn that on all the way yeah okay okay uh, with a small little brush here we're gonna go ahead and paint for about a minute I'd say it looks like metal ceramic so we'll give that a full full minute of time and um, yeah, just like that. Yeah, the key is to use a lot of water when you're prepping through ceramic and metal. You really don't want to heat up the ceramic component. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, it's from Pulp Tent. Pulp Tent, the uh, the ceramic etch. That's that. And we're going to rinse that off. Uh, give it another 20 seconds or so. Alright, let's go ahead and rinse that. And we're going to re-examine the surface for um, a white chalky appearance right here. How 
you doing okay? Alrighty. Okay, change. Okay. Let's make sure we got you. Yeah. There we go. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, we're going to paint um, a 3M, and I'll just take a little bit of composite with that, okay? That's for the access hole. So 3M. What I've done is developed a protocol for these cases where we learn through a process of doing a number of these cases. If you don't join this tooth to an adjacent stronger tooth beside it, what's going to happen is um, by just simply drilling on the tooth, it'll vibrate and you could cause a lot of trauma to the internal components. Or if it lacked bone support, you can also deintegrate the implant fixture. So that wouldn't be right. Uh, so always secure the loose tooth. That's step one. Step two is go ahead and gain your access hole. And then step three is to go always routinely pre-soak the area with tartar and stain remover. And if it's blood, I would go with peroxide. So now my dental assistant has the adhesive. I use 3M's adhesive. Not because they're everywhere, because it works. It works pretty well. So I do that first, and we're just going to dry that off, and then we'll like cure that. I'll go ahead and like cure. Doesn't matter which color we use at this point. We can just want to be able to bond these two together, and then when once the crown is is secured, and the um, the screw is is uh, is undone, we may end up just to find the top of the screw. But what we may end up doing is loosening the crown again, because um, if it is an internal basal screw within the abutment itself we could have an issue where uh, you can't move the crown um, like some other companies you might see um, where um, the, uh, the screw itself is not embedded it's part of the abutment and in that case the screw can be turned out and unscrewed completely with the abutment staying in place so there's a big difference there and if you know your history of Strauman parts, you'll understand what I'm, you know, what I'm talking about. Tissue level, the what they call the octa abutment, has a built-in screw. They come that way. Um, it could be a custom abutment, and if it is a custom abutment, that may be uh, that may be a, a good thing. We'll see. Certainly if I were doing an anterior white place, an anterior implant, I would choose that's good. I just just want to leave it relatively thick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. And as I cure it now I'm joining the two teeth together. just for the initial part. All right. Now we can bring up the light and get to work. So I'm just going to take um, like a 330 carbide. I'm going to follow the link through here and just go real slow. First thing we'll probably run into, hopefully, is the, um, the opening of the um, implant screw. So I'm going to switch to a higher magnification at this point, out place. And I'm just going to tip my patient back. I'm using a Leica microscope, so we're 
we're working hard on uh, just getting enough good vision so we can see what we're doing. And you know, you never know why that screw came loose to begin with. A small suction, please. Um, it could be um, could have been a tight contact on the crown, and uh, possibly, um, or maybe they, uh, you know, uh, the tightening process could have been uh, not enough, or they may have had a you know an occlusal issue here, a bite issue. Uh, all right, here we go. You can close the hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. So we're just following that metal portion in, and right away we see a little bit of a cement, a cement liner. So I'm going to go a little bit more toward the incisal edge and follow the cement. It's a white cement. Okay, and you can see that right there. So again, that looks like abutment. I'm going to go a little more toward the anterior, and a little more toward the lingual. All we want to do is identify the, the opening. Now the other thing I want to do is just stop here, try to lingual. Good. Now we're just checking to see what kind of cement out, please. see what we have here. Okay, so it could be tempon. Could be very well tempon that I'm identifying here. Uh, it's soft, I know that. I can scale it. Uh, let's see if we can get in between and maybe elevate a seam and get in between that seam and work it. You never know, you might be able to pop this off and then you have easy access. But we are bonded in there, so I'm going to continue to look for the access hole in the abutment now that we're through the crown. I'm going to come up toward the lingual again. It's either IRM or it's tempon with eugenol. I can pretty much smell it. Now I'm going to switch. Just dry that, please. I'm going to switch now to uh, to a, th a thin diamond. Um, we've been at it for about 13 minutes now, so I'm going to just uh, pick this up on the next video clip. It's Dr. Jerry Cuomo on the uh, implant rescue of a Stroman TL. Uh,